I was on my own. Hello. Thinking about this babe and her huge things. Thinking about the sweet and naughty things we could be doing if she was not very far away from me. In fact, she actually left me. Don't cry. So I was on my own when Afam. You people remember him, right? <laughs> he came and said that he has found another girl for me. I asked him if she has all the all the right things in the right places. You people know that I I don't joke with the right things. He described the girl like he even said that his wife cooked Ofahapu and Osikapa. So we would eat and uh, wait for the girl because she lives in his neighborhood. I followed Afam. Immediately we entered his compound. I saw Hey Chinekenna. I asked Afam if she was the one. He said no. Yeah. If she was not the one, it means that the chosen one has bigger things than the one you people just saw. <laughs> I was beginning to like the whole thing already. Afam wanted to go and buy me a bottle of beer. So he said I should uh, wait for him inside the house. But based on one or two things, I decided to stay outside and wait. So while I was waiting outside, a little boy came around and greeted me. I greeted him back uh -huh. and then looked at the boy critically. He looked exactly like uh, Afam. I said to him, boy, I hope that you are as intelligent as your father. He smiled and nodded. Wow. So another girl walked out like... She stopped right in front of me. Even without greeting me, she said, Eh, it is rude to talk about things you know nothing about. Eh, what do you know about his father? See me see Wala. I was flabbergasted and overwhelmed. Aww. I told her that Afam is my guy and that I did not know he married a very rude woman. She said that she was not Afam's wife and that the kid is her son and not Afam's son. I looked at the boy's head. It was the shape of Afam's head. God have mercy upon us. I told her that the boy really resembles uh, Afam. She got angry and said that if I did not leave the compound, she was going to teach me why uh, uh, she was called Amaka. As she was about to pounce on me, somebody shouted behind me. I knew it. I have always said it. I knew it. I've always said that this boy resembled Afam, but Afam will always deny it. She walked up to me and said, Chief, I heard you say that this boy resembles Afam. I didn't know who she was. But just then, Afam walked in with the bottle of beer, cold beer, he went to buy for me. I looked at Afam and looked at the, the shape of the boy's head. I started laughing. I said to Afam as he got closer, in fact, to the hearing of everybody, I said, my brother, you have a very strong gene. You fathered yourself in this boy because he's your photocopy and carbon copy. Afam was giving me sign, 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 but I did not understand it. He then introduced the second woman that shouted to me as his wife. Yes! Yes! Uh, I looked inquisitively at the small boy's mother. Afam said she was the girl he found for me. <laughs> I told him it was not possible. How could you find a very rude girl for me? A rude girl that has a son who looks like you, talks like you, and walks like you. But I will not accept it. How? Afam's wife grabbed Amaka by the neck and shook her like a bottle of medicine. So, you have been sleeping with my husband. That was what Amaka's wife was shouting. Uh, Afam turned to me and said, Have you seen what you have caused? 
I said I did not cause anything. In fact, he should go and do DNA test on the boy to confirm. His wife shouted, supported. Afan pursued me with a bottle of beer he was supposed to give me to drink. Please, did I do anything wrong? I, 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 am, I am confused here. 